and as you can see we have some bunny costumes that are here and ready to play so these are the newest revival bunny costumes these costumes were available in DOA 5 so they brought them back for all of us to see so I'm just gonna go right down the list and to start with Kazumi going against Tina so let's get right into it by default I believe that everybody gets the bunny ears on the top of their head you can remove that stuff if you want um, but I'm going to keep it tried and true and just keep everything looking the same. I'm actually kind of surprised that this is the DLC for right now since it's October. I was expecting some Halloween costumes actually. But uh, maybe we'll get that a little bit later. I'm really hoping so because DOA 5 had really, really good Halloween costumes. And they also had really nice crossover costumes with other companies. So I hope that also comes back. I'll lay you down on the mat, Jimmy. In the name of Mugen Tenshi. So to my knowledge, I don't believe that any of these costumes changed from DLA 5 with the characters that were on that game. Now any of the newer characters like Nico and stuff like that, they might have newer stuff but I'm assuming it's probably just one of these two where it's just like the one piece or it's the one with the dress. So, But when we get to those characters, we'll be able to see what they actually have. We're gonna go ahead with Mila. Yeah, a lot of this is looking the same. I mean, it might have been some changes that I'm just not noticing. But, um, I don't remember her having a red bow tie. Maybe she did, but I just don't remember that. But these costumes look really good in this version of this game, so I'm appreciative of it. So you guys leave a comment down below to let me know what DLC you guys are looking forward to. Are you guys looking forward to the crossovers, Halloween costumes, Christmas? Um, just kind of let me know down there. Now to business. Yeah, I'm here to fight. Oh, my God. 
I really like Mila's. I don't remember her having reddish stockings in the other game, and I don't remember her with this bow tie. Um, that might have been what it was, but I actually like the stockings, how they're like red. Nice touch. They might not even be red. They might just be just like what they look like on her legs. Um, but I'm only saying that they're red because they're drastically different from her actual skin color. So. And Chrissy's looks good too. We're gonna go to Kokoro. Now I do remember theirs. Kokoro usually always wears something modest and Ayane is always going with the purple motif, purple everything. I think that the only thing that's purple is the bow tie and her high heels. I think that's it. I don't even know what color the bow on the back is. It might be white or something. Oh no, it's black. Okay. It kind of looks like Christie's a little bit. I think the thing that makes these costumes look so much better is that the fabric on the dresses and the stockings and the costume just overall is just like better. It's like shiny and it flows and it just looks better. I kind of wish that her fan changed the color of whatever she was wearing. That would be nice. Yeah, but I think that's what makes these costumes look so much better than they did. Is that the fabrics just look really good. 
So that's probably why these costumes like Coco Rose that I really didn't care for in five actually look all right now. Yeah, it's, I think that the fabric on this red just looks so much better and it's like brighter and everything. Oh yeah, I didn't know she had those like white fluffy balls on the end of her shoes, but going with the bunny thing. gonna pick Marie Rose and she's wearing blue like usual. We have Helena here with a nice blue piece. That is uh I think that that's blue. It might be blue. The only thing about this costume is weird is I think that I don't know what that is around their neck but I know that some of them have that I know that Kokoro had it it's like a pendant um, and then they also have like this heart thing 
Which I saw like a brooch or some shit. Uh, I don't know what that really is. Some of the characters have it. Some of them don't. When it comes to these costumes, I really don't like the dress one. Um, I kind of like the one piece. Um, I don't know, it just looks better. But when it comes to the dress, there's some characters that just don't look right in them, like Marie. I know they gave Kula a one piece. Um, but I think it's, uh, it's okay for like some of the characters that have the dress. I think it looks okay with Kazumi. But it's definitely not for everyone. Not all the girls on this roster. So we're gonna have Hanukkah going against Nico. So yeah, I like uh, Hanukkah. Her earrings are stars? Are they stars? They are stars. So that's nice. I'm assuming that maybe her and Mai, I know Mai's wearing some earrings. Have some stars. I just wish that some of the costumes were, I don't know, maybe it was a third type here. One piece, maybe like a full like, I don't know, like a title like cat type no version than the really awful dress oh damn it I wasn't trying to do that but look like we're gonna be looking at Hanukkah again They need to work on these loading times in this game.
so funny that we got that stage. The stage is so crazy. Everything is exploding on the stage. Alright, so moving on. Got some Lei Fang. And we've got some Hatomi. I don't know that much about Lei Fang, but um, I always wanted to use this character because she was like super weird and awkward. I forgot that there was another variation of the costume, which was just shorts type of thing. I think that um, Christy and was wearing it too, but it's all right for what it's worth. I don't like the suspenders though; those are kind of ugly. So we'll go to Neo Tingu. <laughs> I love that she has a carrot in her hand. <laughs> I'll go to phase four. I do not remember phase four's costume looking like this in DLA five. Maybe she had this color, but hell, I don't remember. It looks a little different, but I'm not too surprised she doesn't have that greenish color. They usually put that greenish color, which is the same hue of like, when she teleports, the fellow smoke that like trails behind her. That would be interesting if it was that color. No 
choice but to fight. I'm going to take my time with you. Yeah, I like Neo Tangles. I mean, I think the thing that makes her costumes always special is that her fan is always replaced with an accessory. I just like that, you know, this is a bunny costume they gave her in her hand. Which looks a little bit more detailed. I mean, it still looks fake, but looks detailed way better than it did in the other game. Um, but yeah, so that's what I like the most about Neo Tango and all her costumes. Other than that one costume she had, which was like a fan that was had fur on it or something that didn't make any sense it was really ugly i think that's the worst accessory she had in her hand by far Alright, so I know that um, we have an uneven number down here, but we're just going to go ahead and go along with the flow. So I know that Mai already has a costume, but I'm going to go ahead and highlight them anyway, since they're here. When I actually did... Um, when my actually debuted, I actually did, I think I did her in this costume. Maybe I did, maybe I did, I don't really remember. Um, or I might n have never ever shown this costume on stream ever. But you'll be able to see it today.
So weird, I never thought I would see two KOF 14 characters in this game. But my for the most part is pleasant to see. I can't say the same for Kuba. This is really different. It's really interesting to know that, you know, you always have one that stands out, you know, among the rest of the bunch. And I'm not really understanding why hers is all one color. Nobody else is like that. Um, they typically made her special. Uh, so, that's because hers is red. Momji, Momoji, however you want to say her name, Miss Ninja Gaiden probably wins when it comes to this best bunny costume, hands down. It's nice because Momoji, Momji, <laughs> she also has uh, earrings in too. I think I got her name right the first time. I'm not really sure what her earrings are though. What are they? They're just, oh, they're just circular with the star on the end. Okay. I mean, that's fine. Um, So my verdict on these costumes are that in this game, they actually look really nice. Way better than they did in DOA 5. They just looked kind of generic, you know, something they just threw out there. But the fabric on these looked very good, so they actually are better than they were in the past, so that's probably why they named them, you know, revisited bunny ears or bunny costume, because they just wanted to redo it again. I guess people requested this costume, maybe? I have no idea how they kind of go about the costumes that they choose, but other than that, I'm just hoping that we get some Halloween costumes before the end of this month, and hopefully in the future get some Christmas stuff. 
Um, you know, they keep with the tradition of those kind of themed costumes. I'm really looking forward to that. So guys, that'll be it with this video. So make sure you like and subscribe. And if you're following me on Facebook and Twitter, keep up with that and my journey on different tournaments I'll be going to. I really want to go to Frosty Faustin's 2020, which is supposed to be January 17th. But I'm actually in the middle of, you know, trying to plan on moving and things like that. So it's really coming close to that time point of when that tournament actually happens. So we'll see if I make it to that or not. But until then, guys, keep up with the channel. And I'll see you guys next week. And peace.